I don't think this is this reality. The game thinks I'm in the air right now. Which is pretty hilarious. As has too often been the case, it's one step forward and two steps backward with Battlefield 2042 in this recent update 5. Now let me first say that the map, when it I've had it working, uh, looks great. Um, it's a spiritual successor to the Savod 311 back from BF4, uh, uh, which was a wonderful map, a lot of good memories. Um, but getting it to run is the tricky part. Now, this is a PC issue from what I understand, and uh, just like any of those, uh, this is not for a problem for everyone, but it is a problem for people running higher end PCs. And it doesn't really seem to make a whole lot of sense. I have done a lot of scouring on the internet of course, the only real fixes you find are the most common things that you hopefully would have already tried, um, changing settings, clearing caches, things like that. Um, those do not fix this issue. And as it turns out, the issue that I dealt with the most so far trying to play this isn't even this that you're seeing on screen. It's the fact that the game keeps crashing, which is an older problem. Upon the release of the Season 3 update, I had the same issue. I couldn't launch the game. And until... I lowered my base CPU clock from a 4.5 gigahertz to 4 gigahertz and then turned off my AXMP profile, uh, effectively eliminating any of the RAM gains I got from having a 3200 megahertz box speed RAM. Now even though that workaround f worked to fix my issue then and in now, the problem with this is it doesn't completely answer my question about what's going wrong, so I don't still know what the hell the problem is, and that is a problem. If you go on the EA message boards, you go on Reddit, or you go on Twitter, you name it, you go anywhere, you will find a number of different things that people say are the core problem causing this issue to happen. Um, ultimately, it seems as though this game can potentially crash on you for a multitude of different reasons. I know for a fact, for me, it's somewhere tied to CPU and RAM usage and or voltages, um, but I'm not going to tinker with my voltages uh, intensively just to get a game to start. I think that's kind of ridiculous. The worst part is that I really wanted to like this update because I like the map um, when I've got it to work, and I thoroughly enjoy the way the new weapon spread has been implemented, making it a little harder to full auto laser beam people with ARs. Um, they've increased the spread essentially uh, once you're shooting at full auto or once you've gotten to half of your mag is, is how it was explained. Um, I think the, those are good changes. Um, some gameplay fixes that I'm not gonna find out about at least right away because getting the game to run properly is almost impossible. But the other thing that I've run into is uh, even when I got the game to play and run, I'm having input issues with the keyboard. And this is a more common problem that a lot of people have had across the board with this game since launch. So right here, for example, um, I'm not touching my keyboard in this clip at all. This happens sometimes. Once I stop giving the keyboard input, it just decides it's going to continue doing it. And this one is new for me. I've been reading a lot about this, and this seems to have been around for a while. I just didn't know about it because I never had an issue with it until just recently. So uh, another issue, you know, I I do want I got I feel like I have to just say because I don't want this to be a totally negative thing. The the people who changed some spots around in dice and and some new leadership maneuvers based around this game particularly have done wonders for the ongoing development of the game and updating of this game but for god's sakes can we just figure out what's going on and at least be a little bit more vocal with the community about it because if you try to find anything about any of these two major things that i'm talking about in this video from ea you will not find a single thing from them whatsoever that to me is a problem uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys are having any issues getting this to run or if it's running great for you. I want to know. Please tell me down below. Thank you for stopping in today. I hope you have a great weekend. We'll see you next time.